When we started back in 2008, 2009 doing early experimentation, uh, we, we discovered from feedback from consumers and others in the industry that overhead speakers did add a dimension of enhancing the sound experience. But we also got feedback from the mixers that by itself it really wasn't enough. It was better but not dramatically better to really change their approach to storytelling. So we knew that we needed to do something big and we were frankly stuck on what that answer was. After a while in development, we started to settle on a, a number of ideas. And one of them was uh, what we originally called a steer through array, which is the idea of being able to play a sound through an individual loudspeaker in a surround array. And that was well received. Again, we, this is something that we were able to demo and show content creators, and they really liked it. And, but they also provided feedback that was very useful, helped us change course and adjust our technology to really meet their needs. For the first time, it features the ability to pan in three dimensions, so including both on the plane and on the ceiling of the environment. The mixer can also precisely pinpoint locations in the, in the environment and render sound specifically from those locations. So that's really interesting to tie you know, off-screen action more accurately to what's happening on screen. Once we had the basic framework for the solution, it became pretty clear that we needed to test these ideas out in real theater environments. Uh, we were committed to making sure that we had a solution that wasn't just a premium theater experience. We wanted a solution that was going to be able to uh, optimize playback in any theater, no matter what size, what shape. In order to do that, we needed to test in a real environment. So what is happening here? We're in this uh, you know, amazing theater um, that we were fortunate enough to come in and completely take it over. And we've done something we've never done before, which is that for the first time, not only taking over a, a typical movie theater, but being able to put speakers literally everywhere. Uh, and this room has speakers everywhere that we can now test and, and do a lot of interesting things here. So we have 36 surround speakers dedicated all around this room. Uh, we've increased the typical density of surround speakers so we can understand what happens in a surround field. Uh, we'll have the ability to turn individual speakers on and off. We can make it wider, we can make it narrower. And then we also have three rows of surrounds over the audience. So we have one in the middle and then uh, two further rows um, either side of the audience as well. And this really allows us to be our giant laboratory, our giant playground in essence, that we can bring in a whole host of experimentation. So as we look to move forward, the benefits that we will bring is that we'll now have a truly adaptable audio system. And what this really means is the ability to, in essence, author once and render anywhere. That we're taking and controlling the true intent of the, of the mixer and now allowing that single distributable package in, in essence or file to now play out in multiple different environments. So they'll play the 7.1 um, in your main screen and then as the movie plays down in size, they may have to provide another version of the movie in 5.1 so now the same film can play out during its lifespan inside that movie theater. I think this technology translates better to all kinds of uh, playback venues because a smaller room doesn't need as many speakers as a very large room and with this technology, regardless of how big the room is and how many speakers there are, it always optimizes the, the playback of the content. Cinema audio has evolved from stereo to 5.1 to 7.1 in the last 20-25 uh, years. We believe this is the biggest step of any of those. It is uh, fundamentally a different way to deliver an audio experience. The theaters want an immersive experience that is something superior to anything that, that the public can have in the home. Because that's what keeps the cinema business driving. And I think we've really achieved that.